Hi, my name is Henning Beckhoff and uh, I'm the director of Fart zur Hölle. Um, that movie tells the story of a man in his midlife crisis and um, yeah, this is Oliver, he's an uh, actor playing the Jesus in the film. When I'm actually that guy in the midlife crisis. <laughs> We're here at the Exposed Film Festival and I'm sitting here with Henning and Oliver. Welcome. Okay. Well, your movie, Fahrt zur Hölle, does it actually have an English title? Yeah, it has. It's uh, Way to Hell. Way to Hell. <laughs> um, did it already have its premiere? Yeah, it had. Um, it was um, in Landshut, so in, in the area of Bavaria. Yeah. How was the reaction of the audience? It was very funny because it uh, was also a small cinema and a lot of Bavarian people have been there and they all had these big bottles of beer and they looked like typical uh, Bayerish people. And uh, I think that when they saw my film, they had drunk a lot of beer, so there was a lot of <laughs> laughing and uh, yeah, I liked it. Hmm. Yeah. How did you get the idea for this movie? Um, most of the films I uh, shoot deal with uh, the topic of a lonely, uh, lonely, a strong lonely head who tries to get out of the area where he comes from. So I was born in a very small town in the wood district, and uh, yeah, I also have been in a choir, in a Catholic choir, and uh, yeah, I wanted to show this uh, this people that I met in this time when I was like. 18, 19 years old. Mm -hmm. So it's also a movie about your own experiences. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's also a movie about my experience in the choir, right? And about these uh, sometimes strange people and about these sometimes strange habitats. Habitats. Um, yeah. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I also mm -hmm. had the feeling that it was very critical about religion, mm -hmm. that it was showing religion as something that is restricting people in being who they are. Mm. Yeah, some, uh, sometimes it is like that, that religion restricts people uh, in the way they are. Um, and I think in general, yeah, like for example, I know um, um, an example where in our choir, for example, the pastor, the, um, the priest, the pri priest. Yeah, of course, yeah. the priest uh, didn't allow the choir to sing um, foreign songs, so they were only allowed to sing these very German or Latin songs and nothing else and that was like, yeah, what you said, that people aren't allowed to do what they like or to do what they feel like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, singing a different song in this movie seemed to be quite a revolution. Mm -hmm. um, was that <laughs> meant as a revolution within this little church group? Yeah, yeah, it was meant like that. For example, there's this one um, one point in the movie where a young actress, Victoria Schultz, and she asked in the movie, aren't we allowed to sing different or new songs? Because um, it's like some of the people in the choir, they just want to sing different or new songs. They don't want to always sing the same songs and always do this old stuff they did the last 20 years, so yeah. And you're playing the main role. Um, how did you get into this project? Well, it's from our long collaboration, over three years now. Just uh, having been re-asked by Henning to do the movie. Mm -hmm. And how did you prepare for the movie? Like, when you first read the script, what were your thoughts about it? Um, my background is physical acting, so in my usual practice I don't talk in front of the camera. And as this role, do I have a line in the film? Yeah, I think there is one. There's one line also, but I'm actually saying nothing. So it is a physical approach to get to this restricted personality and how he moves and the speed he acts and yet how he deals with the strong information that enters his life and how subtlety is a major part of his behavior. Another aspect I found interesting in this movie was the contact with the other yeah. that was very visible in the moment when Jesus, the main character, met Moses and, well, Moses, I had the feeling, was the one that was actually starting or helping this revolution also to happen because this contact with the other was starting the old or the first thing that was there to change a lot. Um, yeah, 
am I right in this pers perspective or? Uh? Yeah, I think there's often in life some point where some people or a situation comes and this Moses in the movie stands symbolic for this situation. And, uh, you get a new v view and you get a new perspective of what you, your life could be like. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose for those names, those very symbolic <laughs> names? Yeah, yeah, I wonder. Yeah, it's um, it's important for it was important for me to make this movie not only with a very um, answered, um, serious, very, very, very serious attitude. So I was looking for a good way to tell a story about this Catholic uh, milieu without only being uh, like so serious. So I thought of how to um, make bigger contrast. So I chose to um, call the main character Jesus and his um, yeah, most uh, important person, uh, like the Moses and his mother Mariah, because um, yeah, that was the, yeah, they are the most important um, person in the whole Catholic um, religion. So. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> would you say that your movie is a queer film? And if so, mm -hmm. why would you say so? Okay. Um, I would not say uh, it's a queer film because it's a film about um, yeah about a person that uh, is born into an area where um, where it doesn't fit so much and it wants to get somewhere else, and that's only uh, a situation that that's not so typical for queer, it could stand for a lot of different people and for a lot of different situations in life. Mm. The movie is screening here at the Queer Film Festival. What are your expectations from the audience here? Um, yeah, I'm very excited about um, the reaction of humor for the film, so what kind of humor does the film um, bring to the audience, so uh, will they laugh or will they take it very serious, yeah, we will see. Mm. Well, I wish you a lot of fun at the festival and a good screening tonight and thank you very much for the interview. Yeah. Thank you. Um,